Hello, hello, hello. Time yes to roll. Welcome, 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 babies. If you're new here, welcome back. If you are returning, come on in, like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you guys in advance. You already know what it is, my loves. Kick your feet up. Get your shit, get your shit, get your shit. And get comfortable. Because we about to make it do what it do, loves, okay? So, we're going to jump into this read. See what messages Spirit has for you guys today. What do you need to know for your greatest and highest good when it comes to your love connections? So, there's some type of upheaval, a storm warning here. Some type of drama, an obstacle in your connection. What's going on here, Spirit? So there's some type of upheaval. There's a soulmate that's going through some type of upheaval, some type of obstacle at this time. A tower moment. Could be a twin flame, someone you have a soul contract, a soul connection, someone from your past life that's going through an upheaval. Possibly with a family situation here. Could be someone they have children with. Um, could be with their parents. But generations children it could be someone you have children with. This could also be um, a soulmate family member. They could be dealing with some type of financial problems at this time. Money problems, work, material things. What's going on for my collective when it comes to their love lives? Okay, so this person is in fear, afraid, uneasy. Suspicion. They're scared. Because things are, yeah, and they're getting single here. They're alone, isolated, lonely, guarded. So whoever this is, they're isolated. They're by themselves. They walked away from a third party. Interference, cheating, competition, mistress. So there's some type of upheaval with a third party. Could be somebody they have a family with. Yes, there was some type of illusion here, some type of confusion, and the truth is coming out. So there's some type of confession, some type of clarity, some type of secret is being revealed at this time for one of your soulmates when it comes to a family situation here. This could be someone that you have distance with or you put your boundaries up, okay? You could be far apart. What's going on for my collective when it comes to their love life? What is this? If there was a tower moment for a soulmate, okay? In some type of family situation. And now they're afraid. What's this storm warning for my collective when it comes to their love life? For a source. So they're trying to heal from whatever this wrecking ball was, whatever this drama was. This person could be resting, recovering, meditating at this time. Why? Can't fight a soulmate. Because there were some type of lies and illusions. A hidden truth. So some type of hidden truth has been revealed when it comes to a family situation. Yeah, five of swords. Some type of game, aggression, and battles, control, dominance. So somebody was trying to dominate or control the situation with some type of illusion. And now they're afraid. They could have did some ma magic here. Clarify this family. Eight of Cups here. Yeah, they're walking away. So there was a tower moment. Someone's walking away from a family situation. If they live with this person, they're relocating. But they're going through life changes at this time. Because it's some type of illusion and somebody that was trying to control or dominate the situation. The third party. Three of Cups. What's this fear? Collective energy when it comes to their love life. What's this fear? Four of Cups. So now they're afraid they're going to miss out on something here. So you could have walked away from this family situation. You could have walked away from a soulmate, somebody that you feel like you were supposed to have a family with. Now they're afraid that they're finna miss out on you. Maybe they walked away from you and went towards your family. Maybe they walked away and listened to their family. Their family could have told them not to give you a connection. 
And they listen. Now they're afraid it's going to miss out on you because you're guarded. You got your guard up. But they now see the illusion that this family caused or this family member caused to you. Yeah, they see you as the empress, divine feminine, abundance and love, fertility and growth. They could have been dealing with a baby's mother or a mother as well. They're walking away from though. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, they were juggling. So they could have been juggling you and the baby's mother. Eight of Pentacles. Now they want to put the work in or somebody did some type of work. They could have did some work on your person. going on here spirit what was this storm warning for my collective when it comes to their love life okay so there's somebody who is fitness obsessed okay um while they're resting recovering medicating meditating they could be working on their body working out um this person could also um be obsessed with other people's fitness okay but it says unhealthy body image they could have some type of eating disorders they prioritize the gym over everything else pressures others with their fitness ideas so this could just be somebody that stay in the gym all the time or they're standing in the gym trying to keep their mind off of this bullshit this drama that they went through yeah because they were being controlled under some type of magic so this person right now could be working out um like i said spending a lot of time in the gym trying to heal trying to recover trying to get over whatever this connection was because there was an illusion whatever this illusion was clarify this soulmate with this illusion Yeah, so um, this person could have been stuck in oh, the illusion here. Could have been stuck in some type of depressive thoughts, okay? Planting seeds of doubt in the mind, mental health issues, lacking confidence. So there was some type, some type of family issue. Could have been a mother, a baby's mother that was planting these negative ass, um, depressive energies into your person. Okay, making them think that they were not good enough. It was an illusion, though, trying to control your person. And now your person is healing. They tried to keep this person low vibrational, tried to keep them in this negative self-talk. But there is communication coming in here. They're going to reach out because they're walking away from this family, whether it's a mother or baby's mother, whoever this was that was lying to keep them stuck and trapped. It says love bombing messages, ready to speak their mind, unexpected messages. So this message may come out of um, unexpectedly here. Yeah, see, they're realizing that whoever this family member is, they were delusional and they had a bunch of anger issues. This is why they walked away. It says fantasizes about being with you or being with them, makes up scenarios in their head, tells others made up stories about them or you, thinks that you want them as bad as they do. So this could be, um, like I said, this was somebody that was delusion they felt like this person um was supposed to be with them never leave they were making up stories okay but they were delusional and they not only were they making up stories lying to themselves they were lying to other people and they were making your person feel like they were not good enough here and now i feel like since your person is cutting this person off and walking away they're angry now okay they call names cursing use verbal intimidation to control Short fuse blows up easily violent fighting tendencies. This could be somebody mama that get to talking shit when they don't get what they want. You know, their child don't do what they want them to do. Um, this could be a baby mama that get to talking shit when they don't get what they want. Because in their head, they feel like um they are running shit, controlling shit here. Yeah, cut back on messages again. What's this fear? What are they afraid of here, spirit? Yeah, see whoever this is. This, this third party they were dealing with was an energy vampire. It says, um, using for what they want, excuse me, using you for what you give them, takes all, gives none, draining energy, comes back when supply is low. So, um, this person here may be afraid that you may not let them back in because you may feel like they're an energy vampire here. Okay? Because they would only come in and, and like I said, get some time, spend some time with you, and then they will leave again. Because of whoever this family member is. Whoever this was that was in their ear. That had them feeling like they were worthless. Your person has some self-esteem issues. 
they needed to deal with here. They could have even had some body issues they had to deal with. Because I feel like they're in the gym focusing their, their uh, gym rat. You know what I'm saying? That's the energy I'm getting. Now this person is talking about you. They could be asking friends about you. Seeking advice from family. Trying to spread gossip lies. Talking to a therapist. So this person could be getting some help right now with this healing. Okay, and they're talking to this therapist, they're talking to family, they're talking to somebody that's good, that's helping them move forward here out of this connection. I keep getting it. Messages coming, call. Star 6-7, love bombing messages, ready to speak their mind, unexpected message. You're not going to expect this. They're going to call you out the blue here. Yeah, see, they realize that whoever this family member is or this third party is they were dealing with was a pathological liar. That's why they walked away. They were delusional. They were a patholo pathological liar. And they had anger issues. And they kept this person low vibrational. Constantly talking down on them. Constantly making them feel like they wasn't shit. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they had a nice body, but they made them look... Or made them feel like they, you know... Even though they had a nice body, it don't... You know, they wasn't... In, you know, I don't know how to explain it. Even though this person was working on themselves, having a nice body, whatever... Even if they don't have a nice body, they've been getting in shape or whatever. They made this person feel like they weren't good enough, even that way. So this person went even harder. But this person has, um, this third party has low self-esteem. So they try to keep your person in low self-esteem. Living a double life. Lies about even the smallest thing. Lies to boost their own ego. Yeah, and they were doing dark magic. Using witchcraft on you or on your person. Consulting with dark energies. Using spell work to keep you or your person stuck. Dark, resentful intentions. This third party came in with dark intentions. This third party also lives above their means and they're mentally unstable. Yeah, your person now realizes that they were dealing with a fake lover. Staying around for hidden attentions. A gold digger. Looking for a handout. Fake love offer. Want something, from, something you have or your person has. And this person wanted their money. It says, living above their means, in debt, trying to look the part, fake designer clothing, over the head in mortgage debt, shopping addictions, bad spending habits, and mentally unstable, not seeing, excuse me, not seeking the mental help they need, not taking their meds, manic episodes, delusional thinking, concerning behaviors, once again, delusional. Whoever this family member is or this person that they build a family with, they have some real serious mental issues. And they tried to bring your person down with them. Or this person here, your, well, it's your soulmate. Tried to bring your soulmate down with them. I do feel like your soulmate was dealing with some um, of their own low self-esteem in the past. That's why it was easy for this third party to manipulate them to, to um, get them caught up in this bullshit here. Let's see. Wonder what's the turn? Collective energies. They had them trapped up under this illusion. Up under this dark magic. And I feel like this person's coming out of it with this storm warning. The truth is coming out. They're seeing the truth. So you have a soulmate that was stuck in a third party situation. Whether it was with a family. A mama, daddy, sister, brother energy. Or someone they have a family with. And now they're afraid, whoever this was that was doing this magic, because karma's coming for their ass. And your person is leaving or has left this family situation because they're no longer trapped under the illusion. Collective energy when it comes to their love lives. Anything else they need to know? Yeah, they were dealing with an obsessive lover. The third party is obsessive. Dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessiveness, karmic. An obsessive karma that did not want to let this person go. And shit has has blown up in this person's face. Yeah. This person is now talk talking, excuse me, acting cold towards this third party. They're not giving them any communication here. Yeah, because they realize this, this karmic was doing nothing but fake flexing. Acts rich, flosses money, acts fancy, shows off, etc. But they were faking. They don't have that money. Yeah, your person is dodging a bullet when it comes to this third party. 
Dodging bullets, blocking negativity, escaping crazy people, protected from their haters. So I do feel like there was divine intervention here. God stepped in and is allowing your person to get out of this situation. That's what this storm was. For them to see the truth so they can get away. This karmic is now in fear because they're getting karma for all the dark magic, all the negative shit they sent towards you and your person. Your person is in fear because they feel like all the games they play with you, um, dealing with this obsessive lover, you may not want to let them back into your life here. Yeah, this person is lonely. They're missing you. And they see you over here unbothered. You over here sitting in your power. You unbothered. And they now realize this third party is played out. They played out. Collective energy when it comes to love life. Yeah, they realize this person was fake. Fake smiles. And this person was not real. That they were really crazy and, and deranged. Yeah. This person is now haunted. Memories, flashbacks, trauma, side effects. From this karmic. And also from you guys' connection. They can't stop thinking about you. Thank you. Yeah, this person is now realizing that they did nothing but waste time with this third party. Third party was doing nothing but trying to keep them stuck. Nothing had changed. And it was limited here. Yeah, and they want you back. They want you back. And they finna come back towards you here, collective. Yeah, they on their way. Told you, travel, packing their bags. They on their way. So whoever this karmic is, they're getting away from. This karmic is a spiritual hater for sure. This karmic don't like your spirituality. They don't like your light. They don't like your magic. They don't like your power. Yeah, and your person got their head in the clouds when it comes to you. They can't stop thinking about you. All they think about. They got some type of evidence about whatever this karmic was doing. Getting evidence, proof, facts. They got some proof of facts possibly about them doing this dark magic. Yeah, about them stalking you. Because you're just queen rising here collecting whether you're a man or woman. You're stepping into your power, your praise, you're coming up and you're in the spotlight. This karmic could also be watching you trying to get some type of evidence or proof. But they see you standing in your power, yeah. They're trying, to, they're trying to make it seem like you have a bad reputation here. And your person now sees the truth of who has the bad reputation. This, this person that's delusional, this person that's out here fake flexing, the person that's always out here partying and drinking and drugging and shit, the thief. Robbery, loss, theft, physical or emotional. They now see the truth. Yeah, and this karmic is holding a grudge. They're upset because this person is walking away from them. Yeah, the, the ass kissing not working. The ass kissing is not working. Not at all. Yeah, this player person don't want to be a player no more. They done playing. They learned their lesson. Collective energy when it comes to their love lives. What does this person want to say to my collective at this time? Your person going through some shit right now, okay? Or they went through some shit and they trying to heal from this shit. Because they was all up under this magic spell for sure. And the third party that did the magic is being haunted. And your person is also being haunted. Your person is being haunted by you guys. You know what I'm saying? How they treated you. You know, um, the fact that they walked away, that you may not want them back. The fact that you may reject them when they reach out. The third party is being haunted because they did the magic, y'all. So your person says that they miss you. And you make them a, you make them want to be a better person. And that they love you. Anything else they want to say to my collective here? They find you incredibly attractive. There was a third party, told y'all. And the third party is the one that's, um, that tried their best to keep this situation from coming together. They said they will find their way back to you one day. They're on their way back to you. They can see, um, themselves with you in the future. And they do feel like they ruined everything by going towards this third party. 
and pulling away from you by listening to their family. They said you're the person of their dreams. And you always on their mind, guys, okay? Yeah, they want to know will you please forgive them. So they're going to come towards you to make it right. Or at least attempt to make it right. It's up to you whether or not you let this person back. You do have a soul connection with this person. This is a soulmate. Um, you do, even though they are soulmates, you don't have to take them back. You still have free will. We have many soulmates, guys, okay? So, it's not like you can't call another soulmate in if you don't want this connection back. But if you do want this connection back and you still feel for this person, um, and you're just upset, go ahead and forgive this person so that this connection can come back together. When is this person returning to my collective? Okay, so for some of you guys, it'll be seven days or seven weeks. Seven, seven, seven may be significant. This is being divinely guided. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. We have eight weeks or eight months. Okay. For some of you guys, it'll be Tuesday when this person returns. For others of you guys, they could be coming back on Monday. So I got Monday and Tuesday of next week. And then I have seven days. And then for others of you guys, seven to eight weeks. Final group could be eight months. Bottom of the deck, I have four days. What's today? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday would be four days. Okay, four days, four weeks. So for some of you guys, four days, four weeks. Okay, so Tuesday, um, excuse me, Monday or Tuesday of next week. Four to seven days for some of you guys. Four to seven weeks. Four to eight weeks and eight months for the final group. Okay. Um, I don't feel like it's a lot of you guys that have this eight month. Eight weeks at the most is what I keep hearing. If this is your story, eight weeks at the most. Okay. This person will be coming back. But for a lot of you guys, it's next week or by the end of the week. Okay. Of oh, next week. So this time next week. Friday, Saturday of next week. Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday of next week. Yeah. And then seven to eight weeks. Okay, right, Reese? Four weeks for some of y'all a month. Okay. What time we at? I can't even see what the time say. Let's see. Who is this read for? Zodiac signs, sun signs. First card, Cancer. We also have Scorpio down here, guys. Okay, so we're going to take Scorpio too. We have Virgo. Who is this read for? We have all water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Who else is this read for? We have Capricorn. Who else is this read for? Aquarius. Who else is this read for? Aries. Who is this read for? They threw a lot of them. Scorpio came back out again. Sagittarius flew out. Leo flew out. Bottom of the deck, we got fire. Leo, Aries, Sag. Okay. So, Aquarius, Cancer, Virgo, Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Leo, Leo, Aries, Sag. Okay? So, if it resonates, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Bye, my TT babies.